Good morning, guys. Welcome to my rain-covered mats that I washed. <laughs> Don't wash them and hang them out when you think it's going to rain. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, anyways, there's been some drama on the farm today. Two little boys. They're like, yeah, Winston. I'm here for you. So, all the goats we've been watching, basically, Winston's mom led... It's Blossom? Oh my gosh. Is she in the wrong side of the fence? Like the hair. <laughs> That's how you get pregnant! <laughs> so tell me what is wrong with this picture. No, Winston. Hey, hurry up because I'm slamming all over my finger. There. Oh, there she is. You got the nurse now. Did he nurse? <laughs> well, you can't do that. Rocky, you're failing the job. <laughs> He's happy now. <laughs> <laughs> Sophie just makes me laugh. All right, so the the goats came from there all the way through the horse field. Then they went through a little fence there, a fence there, and then into this little area here. Which I need you guys to tell me what do you guys think we should do with it? Sophie, how did I'm through? so excited. Yeah, they had to have climbed underneath that fence. Hey, but she's fat. <laughs> she's Ow. not fat, but she's big. Sam needs to move these fences. If it seems like all we do is fix goats and do stuff with goats, it's because goats need a lot. These two are weaning themselves. They're weaning themselves. All right, let's throw them back over. Come on, little brown babies. They missed Winston so much. They're like, we're coming to save you. <laughs> oh, look at how cute he's getting with the know, light tan. He's really cute. And like he has light tan on his ears. He's, he is so cute. Ooh, dude. You are such a cute boy. Look at his dried up umbilical cord. Oh, Sam's bringing my grain. Look at his dried up umbilical cord. Yeah, I saw it. Look at his. Ellie, oh, hey. he, is, that a, is that a tick on him? No, what? Oh my gosh. Does he have a, another? Oh, I was thinking it was another nipple, but that's not a nipple. What is it? I don't know. Aw. He's like, don't touch me. But look at how cute he is with that light tan color on him he's and around his mouth. The top of his head. Oh my gosh, he looks like he's got roots. That is so funny. Thanks, Sam. So that was his nipple. <laughs> he had two. It was all okay. Let's see his nipples. <laughs> Wait, what? Ow. Oh, okay. <laughs> there they are. That's the weirdest looking thing. Doesn't that look like some little animal? Two eyes and a big fat nose. <laughs> <laughs> you should see it. No. <laughs> All right. All right. Over you go. You shouldn't have those. You should be a girl. <laughs> Blossom. Oh, Come on. No. You got to go. I know you are a good mama. You're going to have another baby next year. Yeah. Hopefully we get to choose when you have it though. Yeah. We'll choose next year, but clearly she's still a Houdini. <laughs> clearly. Come on. So this morning I got so much milk. I got double the milk I got yesterday. No, Winston. Oh. We got locked out. He is so cute. I actually am starting to fall in love with this guy. Well, I'm not even dressed yet today, but we ended and up. She is a girl. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Well, Look at her, her, her. Her udder looks so empty. Where? No, every, okay. So I'm not even dressed yet. We had to come down and rescue the babies. I'm trying to figure out where to put my milking stand and I'm gonna probably end up buying a new milking stand because this isn't, this, high as I think I would like. I need to have it so it's not, so it doesn't have one side against the wall. Why can't you put it like this? Because they're going to get up there anyways. All right, I love it. I love it. See, that's what, you just have such good ideas. And then you got either side. And yeah. You can move it closer here or that way if you want. I like it. And then I can move that bench. I could even... I mean, so there's more room, so it just looks nicer. I like how you did this, though. I love this. I mean, because they're, they're just going to jump up here and stick their heads through. Could I put it on this wall so that the light is right above me? Oh, my gosh, look at that light. It's burning out. Yeah, they, they don't last that long. Oh, that sucks. Because yeah, I really need the light. There, All right, let's move this. Drain. Yeah, I, I heard that those things don't last very long, like six months max. <laughs> That's terrible. I have another that I don't know if it burned out. Let me get it. Oh, so, uh, this light bulb just stopped working one day. 
And so I took this one out. Well, I mean, obviously the outlet is working and three of the things aren't working. All the outlets in this farm are so weird. They, they come on or go off. Like that stall over there has never had a light on it. And just a couple days ago, the light went on. Oh, hi, baby. I stepped away from the door because I was petting him and he yelled at me. So when we looked out this morning, all the triplets were in that field too. Okay, so the light's bad. We'll put the other one back on because it's worked a little bit. All right, well, I mean, it's better than nothing. And in fact, can you just turn those lights to the, do they turn up or anything? No. Well, there's only two lights working. Oh, that is perfect. There's only two lights working. All right, I'll just leave it like that. Okay. I think we're going to have to buy more lights, though. All right, so that's like my big thing today. I'm going to, I have to clean. I'm going to clean. I'm going to come in here and clean the windows. And this is my job today. Once I get dressed, I'm not even dressed. So I actually want to take, I have a spot in the backyard. You have to lift underneath. I have a spot that I want to put one of those outside. So I'm probably gonna end up putting that one outside. We don't sit on that one very often. So that's the new home. Leave that here. I'm gonna have to wash those. I'm gonna have to wash both of them. Look at Sophie's there, strong girl. careful because those goats want in all right i'll be back down in like 20 minutes i'm just gonna go get dressed and do my hair almost at a hey hey <laughs> you're not supposed to be in here <laughs> he's, learning. he's learning he's like i'll be a milking a goat get out he doesn't even go you push him Ellie. get Ellie. out go Ellie. sorry Ellie out. Ellie out. <laughs> he's really cute i like a dark colored goat See how he's like brown, so dark in the face. The reason that I'm gonna put a tarp over top of this is so that they can come outside and still be dry because goats don't like water. I was in the bathroom getting ready and I swear I heard, oops, I swear I heard a gunshot. It kind of freaked me out a little. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go check all over animals. I don't know what happened. I doubt somebody would shoot them. So uh, this is our little ducks area. <laughs> Sophie has re rehomed him here. Hopefully we'll get a new, we're getting some uh, baby chicks soon, baby duck, duck chicks. But hopefully she'll be able to get a mate for him uh, tomorrow, no, on Tuesday. But he really likes it outside. He likes being next to the chickens and the guineas. I'm probably going to put some chickens with the guineas. <laughs> don't bother him soon but anyway this is where he he lives and he likes it she brings him in at night though just to keep him safe she brings him in at night and he's nice and warm and but he loves it out here during the day unfortunately it means that i have to keep that door closed and the chickens need light to lay and while it's been cold and wet and dark and and awful out the last four days it hasn't really mattered come on but uh, the next two days, you guys, Monday and Tuesday are gonna be so warm. They're gonna be like in the 60s. <laughs> and I'm excited. Oh my gosh. Oh, I left the garbage here for a second. Oh my gosh, she's eating ham. Wait, that's bad. <laughs> oh my God, you're ham. You can't eat meat. Pigs are not supposed to eat meat. Come on. Come on. Oh my gosh. What am I gonna do with you? You can tell when the grass is getting green by the fact that there are no horses at the round bale. If you don't follow me down to the barn, you don't get to stay out here. Maybe I should put your harness on. Come on, let's go, come on. Come on, we're going this way, come on. There we go. Allie, don't chase the pig off. <laughs> come on. Get in there. Oh, come on. <laughs> you know where she's going? Watch, she's going right to the barn because in the barn she likes to look for, <sighs> she likes to look for horse food. I don't know, I'm wondering if I should just leave her. She can't get out anywhere. 
and there's no horses. I want her to get used to being on the farm. I want her to like, she wants to be outside, being busy. And I want her to like learn where everything is, but pigs only learn where the food is. <laughs> that's it. Shoot, that's not a good spot for you. Come here. Oh, I'm gonna have to go get her. She's going to the horses. <sighs> oh, she just came running back. <laughs> I was freaking out. I was trying to get in here. Listen, you're gonna have to, you are so much trouble. Oh, just to get down to the go part and it's taking me this long. I wanna see if she can get in there, how she gets in there. Don't. While I'm here standing at Sophie's horse's stall, I should give you an update. The horse she tried. Didn't work out, wasn't the right one for her. And then we looked at another, such an interesting, fun, cool horse. Not right for Sophie. We're gonna be like super selective. But I know that there's gonna be a horse in the stall and I know it's gonna be summer and I feel like it's gonna be this summer. Every time Storm hears this little pig squealing, he just comes running right in. I don't know if he wants to save her or kill her. <laughs> What the heck? How did you get here? Oh my gosh. Ugh. There, stay there. Oh, come on. Oh my gosh. Honestly, how come life is so hard? Ugh. Come here. Come here. Ugh. Get out. Get out. Out. It's easy. You just walk forward. I just came back for Winston and he's gone. Now Ellie's gone. Ellie! I just want to keep everybody alive and not pregnant. That's it. That's all I want to do. And these guys are making it so difficult. Come on. Give me a break, dude. Stop. I'm going to need Sam to come down and fix the fence. Because <laughs> he's figured out how to get in here. Any spot that is like a tiny little space that he can crawl under, he tries to crawl under. And he's drinking all my milk. He's just standing there, chilling with his boys, eating hay. <laughs> he, he, oh, there's my girls. Oh, it's, it's getting nice out. Usually they bed down like this when they get cold. But look, there's Lola and Cricket, the newest additions. They're just hanging together. Oh. I have to take him. He is not a good boy. <sighs> I'm exhausted and I haven't even done anything. We got time on our side. We're in a state of hope. I need you on my fire. I want you to know that every time you're away, I long for so much I can find my way We got everything here At least to stay alive And the time that we share Makes it all worthwhile Got this place on Do you feel that we got something strong? Everything is messy in this barn. These are washcloths that I've been washing the milking stand off with. Like no matter where I am on this farm, I always have one or two helpers. 
sometimes three. It's crazy they can smell their food through a bag. I am trying to decide if I should use this as a milking table, a table that I could put next to the, my milker so that I can set things on it. Lost again, going back around Dreaming of a time when I get things right Lost in the shadows of a million stars Shouldn't they enlighten my near and far? Shouldn't they at all just tell me where you are? Send a prayer if I'm out of I find now that I'm old, I have to do work in stages, but this is my new milking station. So this is it. I swept everything, cleaned this all off. I have to keep the um, grain that I use for milking in here because everybody tries to eat it. I have a new little table here. I don't know what I'm gonna put on it yet, but it's here. And then over here, everybody tells me to keep these grain bags and they are the most annoying things. I have so many of them. Um, I just use them for garbage, so I'm okay with that. And then in here I just rearranged my grain. I have goat grain and I have alfalfa grain, alfalfa pellets, and then I have like a sweet feed that I bought, that Sam bought by mistake. I definitely need to clean off my shelves. I have grain bags everywhere. And then that garbage bag over there is full. I'm so grateful for this fridge. It's been helping me with the milk. I tore down all the plastic over there and swept for cobwebs. Sam's gonna have to come down and clean that because it's really gross. I'm just not brave enough for gross. But anyway, I'm happy to have like a little working station here. I've been loving milking this morning. I probably got yesterday, I have 32 ounces all together, which is probably a liter for, I don't know what you guys measure in. Come on now. <laughs> Why? Why can't life just be easy? Oh, you're there. That's good. I'm going to take some of these things over into the boy field and actually Sam's going to help me and we're going to build some really fun things for them. Uh, some playing things because soon all the boys will be over there and I want to at least have some place for them to play. I see Mama Mocha way up there. Do you guys see her? Just her head. What are you doing up there? Come on! Oh, here come the babies. Can you guys see it? Oh, that's bo Blossom. Come on! Oh, I feel so sad for her. Weaning is hard. Uh-oh, where are all your babies? I love it. I absolutely love it. It honestly feels like a milking station now. I really wanted to come out here and spend some time with Cricket and Lola because I feel like they don't get as much attention as they deserve. But the only one here is Blossom. She is such a fun little goat. I feel like every Sunday it's just me mostly. So thank you for spending a Sunday with Laura and thank you for staying with me while I built a little milking room. Who's on my back? I finished my book finally, the one for the scarecrow and one for the crow. I loved it. I only, I've read a lot my whole entire life. I've read so many books. I only have one book that I count so close to my heart and call it my favorite book. And I've, it's been probably 15 years since I read that book. And this one actually is tied for that, that place. This one won me over. I could read it again. It's so me in every way. Like it is just such a heart warming amazing book and I don't usually like those kind of books I don't like slow moving books and it's not super slow moving there were some wordy parts that I skipped past but the whole storyline was so fabulous and so incredible if you get a chance to read it I hope you do it is honestly one of the best books I've read in a really long time especially if you like animals and if you believe that animals are just as deserving of love and kindness 
as people are you will love this book but it's about the human connection more than anything but anyway that is it for today's video hope you guys liked it and we'll see you guys tomorrow don't you know that you're beautiful just the way